A few months ago, my girlfriend and I moved into a new apartment. With that move came more space, and with more space meant that I needed a new Google Home. Luckily for me, Google announced exactly what I was looking for in October, the Google Home Hub, which is the first Google Home product that also has a screen. So I ordered it on day one, picked it up, and I've been using it ever since, and I've been really glad to have it around. There's four things about it that I think make it the best Google Home product yet, but first let's give it a quick look. Essentially, the Google Home Hub is a mix between a plus size phone and the Google Home Mini. If you've used any of the Google Home products in the past, then you're probably familiar with what the Hub can do. It allows you to ask questions, play music or podcasts, and control your smart home devices with your voice. Obviously, the draw with the Google Home Hub is the new screen. It's got a seven inch LCD touchscreen, and while it's not incredible, it works perfectly fine for everything that the Hub has to offer. You gotta remember that at $150, this product isn't gonna deliver a screen on the level of, say, an iPad, but it's perfect for everything that you need to do with it. The speaker sounds okay for music. I would say it's best suited for vocal responses or for playing podcasts. If you're looking for a standalone speaker that is just meant to play music, I think that the regular Google Home is a better fit, but you can certainly play music on this without any kind of problem. You can also cast YouTube videos from your smartphone to the Google Home Hub, and it basically can act as a second screen. You can also just ask Google to search for those things with your voice, and it'll display them naturally as if you would just look them up on your phone. Play Jacques Slade from YouTube. Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slate here. Back with another unboxing, and today, actually, hold on. Okay, so. The most surprising thing about the home hub is how small it is. It can pretty much fit anywhere. And honestly, I feel like they should have just named it the Google Home Kitchen because that seems to be its natural place. It has a lot of features and it just seems suited for the kitchen. I've basically used all the Google Home products so far. So these are the four things that I think set the Google Home Hub apart. The first thing seems really small, but it's actually an awesome feature and that is timers. The Google Home Hub allows you to set and display multiple timers at once. So while you're cooking, you don't have to continuously ask it how much longer you have on each one of your timers. You can just look over at the screen and they're presented right there for you. It sounds silly, but it goes a long way. So the Google Home Hub can also help you cook by showing you instructions and recipes. Google seems to be working with some websites to specially format the recipe without displaying anything on the web page that isn't relevant to that recipe. Also, there are some times when you ask for recipes where it will just display a YouTube video with step-by-step -step instructions, which is pretty cool. If you've been cooking a lot, especially when you're working on new recipes, you'll know that having something where you don't have to use your hands, you can just look or use your voice to move from one step to the next this is a super helpful function and something I've enjoyed a lot in my new apartment. So the third thing is kind of where the hub gets its name. It's the fact that you can use it to control your smart home. There's a lot of things about it that kind of feel futuristic. It kind of reminds me how in sci-fi movies when there's just one control panel that allows you to control everything in a house. Even though it's not quite that complicated, it does have places for you to control lights, media. If you have a Nest thermostat, then your options would also be controlled here. And finally, something really nerdy is you can send a message if you have more than one Google Home in your house. All you've gotta do is swipe down from the top of the screen and all of your home hub options will be shown. It's actually really cool. Finally, my favorite feature and probably the one that will make me buy another home hub in the future is the fact you can have it display pictures from your Google Photos account when you aren't using the hub. 
You can select specific albums or just let Google pick ones randomly and it'll cycle through them when the Google Home Hub isn't being used. And honestly, I found myself kind of just staring at it as photos have scrolled by. And I've really enjoyed just kind of checking out pictures that I've taken in the past. So if you were to buy this for a family member, say like your grandparents or your mother or father, if you've got new kids, it could be a great way for you to share pictures with people that you don't get to see that often. So if you're looking to get a Google Home product this holiday season or anytime in the future, I think that the Hub is the best one to get. I think for $150 or even cheaper as it's been on sale quite a few times already, you're not gonna be upset. I think it's gonna give you the best value for money and I'll have a couple of links down in the description so you can check it out and try to find the best deal. I know I've already seen it on Google's website for $20 off at 130 bucks. So if you wanna click those links, you can buy it right now and you'll probably still get it before Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and if you stuck around all the way till the end of the video, make sure to get friendly with that like button below and if you picked up any Google Home products this season, especially because of this video, make sure you let me know what they are down in the comment section. I really appreciate anybody watching. I hope you all have a great holiday season and if you really love videos like this, subscribe for more and I'll be back again soon. All right, peace.